Oh, look, the kids are playing tag. Okay, well, we're not going to. Um, we do want to check out this little spot here. Let's close it because it was closed. Uh, what is this? To Skyrim. To Skyrim. I don't want to deal with the loading screen. Oh wait, this isn't a loading screen. Maybe just down is a loading screen. Ooh. Oh, that's the windmill up there. How do I get up to that room? Or can I? Oh, that's just an oh, is it open? Yeah, it's just open, isn't it? No? No, there is a room up there. Hmm. Doesn't look like there's anything in there, but still, kind of cool to check it out. A little secret room up there. Castle Tower. Don't want to go there. Probably couldn't even get in there if I wanted to. The Emperor's Tower doesn't seem appropriate. Um. Okay. Well, it's probably yeah. It's after after lunchtime, so let's eat really quick, and then we will get started uh, on our way to. Oh, we're getting dizzy. Started on our way to Dragon Bridge, I think. have a lunch in the inn, I think. Pardon me. Oh, no, you're okay. Right. Winking Skeever. Make sure I get the right door this time. So yeah, for this Dark Brotherhood thing, and I, what she's expecting is that she'll talk to Commander Morrow and she'll say, yes, the hideout. Uh, there's a Dark Brotherhood hideout in Hjalmarch. I found it. I mean, by, you know, accident, basically. Um, and if you could send some... I talked to a guard and he suggested I come see you, but if you could send somebody there to, you know, maybe wipe it out, burn it down, whatever, that would be great. So she's expecting that once she notifies the proper authorities, it will, the problem will get taken care of. Um, the pheasant roast, potato soup, and a bottle of wine. I know we had a drink already, I think. But um, And then while we're sitting here, let's just check our status before we hit the road. We've got a ton of health potions, so no need to be squeamish with those. We do have something to disenchant, but we won't be able to do that here because we won't be seeing the mage. Uh, we have one scroll, which is a pretty cool scroll. We can use that when we're fighting some really tough bad guys. Uh, we could do some cooking, maybe, but let's not worry about that now. We've got our books. Locked room. We could sell that. <laughs> but we're not in a rush, basically. Uh, oh, God. Mm. That's going to aggravate me every time I see it. Alright. Well, whatever. Divines bless you. May the ground you walk quake as you pass. Oh, that was... Oh, Glad God. You decided there we go. To check us so out. Daughter keeps me fed. My working days are done. That's the bard woman. She came here for lunch? That's kind of funny. Who are you? The Armo. You're a bard, Welcome too. Welcome to Solitude. Home of the arts here in Skyrim. You guys must come here for lunch then? It's kind of nice. Right. On to Dragon Bridge. Yes. And we will be extra cautious. Getting closer to the borders of our home province. Closer to the danger that we faced there. They haven't cleaned up that body yet. Oh, they did. Sorry, that's just the block. Okay, I was going to say, you'd think the uh, Legion would be a little bit better about that kind of thing. What is this? Not something we can get into. Um, hmm. I wonder what we have armed right now. I think... The last thing we encountered was that dragon? We encountered the dragon right outside this town, right? I wonder if it's still on the road. 
Let's see. What do we have armed? Fear, bound sword. Mm. Let's switch to this in the right hand. The caravan's moved on, I see. Looks like the body is gone. Dragon's body. We did fight a dragon out here, right? I'm not thinking of, like, a different character I was playing or something. I can't remember. Hmm. Carriage. Yeah. We could. But still seems a little too risky, given that, you know, the Dark Brotherhood has basically followed us wherever we go. It's a little bit too risky, I think. So... We just don't want anybody to know where we're going. That's that's what I'm trying to say. Right, let's check the map. Uh, so basically just straight. Straight ahead. Straight west. Straight southwest. Back to the road, then. The tree branches are moving. Is that um, normal, or is that was that tree glitching out? No, it looks like it. When I did my Q and A, uh, 500 subscribers Q and A, I the uh, view for the whole Q and A was from above the tree line in the game Oblivion, and one of the commenters pointed out, like, "Hey, look, the trees are moving with the wind." I've not seen that in Skyrim, and I was like, "Yeah, you're right. I don't think I've seen it in Skyrim either." But now it looks like. Maybe they do. So that's kind of cool. It'd be it. I think the comment was something along the lines of like, why would they remove that feature from what was, you know, a pretty nice feature from a game? I don't know. Or Tapanella. Always need those uh, magicka ingredients. In fact, always need them so much that we're going to go down here and grab this one, too. I'm not cold. That's good. Okay, well, after Dragon Bridge... Here's my footstep. God damn. The footsteps back? I thought I got rid of the footsteps. After Dragon Bridge, I'm thinking that Anaig will be ready to go back toward Windhelm. Um, there's nothing else really keeping her around here at the moment. There's this Imperial soldiers, I hope. Okay. Yes. Looks like they have a Stormcloak prisoner. Oh, and they're very close to some. That guy's got, like, hours to live, probably. Oh, look at that ruin up there. That's a major ruin. What is that? What time do we have? 3.18. No, we probably don't, shouldn't check it out. We'll just keep moving. Pretend like it's not there. Which is something you have to do. Uh, all the time in this game. I'm just gonna, I just noticed this person, these people walking. I wonder if these are vigilants. Imperial wizard? The Legion's always looking for strong, capable warriors. If you think you've got what it takes, our headquarters is in solitude. What? The devil? Oh my god. Uh, troll. Okay. Troll, troll, troll. Firebolt, right? What luck that we encountered this thing with these guys right here. Yeah, and a knight gets the kill. Oh, man. That was actually kind of awesome. I, <laughs> I like that. These guys are added by, I think, the Civil War overhaul. He adds mages to the uh, armies. Mages and, and, you know, like more archers and support type soldiers. Um, so that's actually kind of cool. You know, a Nike doesn't really feel inclined to pick a side in the Civil War. But it's kind of cool to know that that is an option. So, anyway, moving on. Oh, yeah, I just wanted to check out who that was. I thought maybe they were Vigilance of Stendar or something. Very cool. And an awesome way to kill a troll, too. Four mages just gang up on it. 
Well, here we are. That was a nice short trip. Wow. Yeah, this area is starting to remind Anaig of home a little bit. Mountainous regions right outside of the towns. The hills and stuff that she'd climb. Let's see, what is there to do in this town? That's something official, obviously. Um, excuse me. Need something? Yeah, I was kind of wondering about the town, but it looks like you're not going to tell me anything about it. Ooh. That's an old bridge. Hmm. A boy and his goat. A guard. Lumber mill. Can I? No, it's not a cooking spot. Um. Hello there. Make yourself useful and chop up some firewood. There's a few coins in it for you. Uh. We didn't hear anything that would clue us into this first option, so we won't ask that. We will ask about the stone bridge, though. It, it is something that would draw your attention, I think. Hard to say. It's ancient. That much we know for sure. It was here long before the town itself. Mm. Just hope the bridge survives the war. It's the only place you can cross the Karth River for a long way in either direction. Could be if one side wants to keep the other from coming across. They might try to knock it down. Hmm. So this could be a hot spot if the uh, war heats up, huh? Hello? If you're looking for a room, you want the four shields. Four shields. Good to know, because we'd probably be staying the night here, I'm guessing. Ooh. Five of them. Whoa. Yeah, this harvest overhaul mod is going to be rather nice. Hello there. Uh, he's looking... Is your face, like, half painted or something? It's very strange. Have you met my husband? Well, don't bother. He's a drunk. Hmm. So, what does your husband do? He promised me, swore on his ancestors, that he'd give up the mead. And what do I find out? He's been stashing drink in a cave nearby. He even has some wolves guarding him. What? No, I swear. I should just cut out his tongue. That would be the end of it. Hmm. I, there's no reason an I would just help this stranger with her drunk husband. But the fact that the guy has wolves that are apparently trained to protect his beer is really enticing, actually. She wants to see that. Um. Yeah, you know what? She's curious enough. She's going to check it out. If you want to try, but I'll keep my dagger sharpened just in case. Is that an you can help yourself to any threat drink to your you husband's find, life. But bring me the bottle of Dragon's Breath Mead. It's his favorite, so I know he has one there. Never heard of Dragon Breath Mead. And we wouldn't know to ask her about the lumber mill at all. Until next time. I wonder if this is the husband. Hello there. Seen some mean-spirited folk pass through lately. Thought I was rid of those sorts when I left Markarth. Oh, you, uh, from Markarth, you say, huh? And I'm going to try to see if she can learn any news about it since she was there that first morning in Skyrim. I grew up an orphan on the streets of Markarth. I'd have died there, too, but for the kindness of an old warrior named Logrolf the Bent. Hmm. Logrolf rescued me and gave me enough money to get out of the city. I followed the Karth River north and came here. When I met Michelle, I knew this is where I belonged. I suppose that's it, really. Hmm. Um, what was it that min we mentioned about mean people going through town? Both the Imperials and Stormcloaks have sent riders this way, scouting the bridge and the lands nearby. They stayed at the inn but didn't pay. They said soldiers don't need to pay because they're risking their lives to protect us. And that's not all. They took a heap of our lumber, and one tried to have his way with my daughter. Ugh. They think they can do whatever they want. Is that want. an Imperial or a Stormcloak? That will color in Ike's opinions quite a bit. Um, this guy must be the owner of the inn, I guess, huh? All right, then. Maybe? Maybe not. 
Okay, well, let's do what we came here to do. We'll speak to... No, actually, let's first go into the inn. We'll eat some dinner, and then maybe we'll go see the Penitus Oculatus uh, officer. And if it's late, we'll turn in. If it's not too late, maybe we'll check out this cave. See the trained wolves. Oh, you are that gentleman's wife that I just spoke to. Hello. I'm hoping to run my own inn someday. Oh, so you guys do run the inn. No, maybe you just work at the inn. Cooking spit. I am going to use this. I'm not sure what I can make. I know I've got a lot of salt piles. I can't make a damn thing. Okay, so I need some meat. Hmm. I don't really feel inclined to buy some meat. Whoa, look at that the size of that shield. Whose shield is that? I'd like to know who carried that thing around. Hello. Fate is the name. I keep the inn. Uh, I will re refrain from giving you my name, but it's nice to meet you. Uh, what have you got for sale? Take a look. You have salt piles, too. Seared slaughterfish. No raw meat, which is okay. Um, what can I use those mud crab legs to... What can I make uh, use with them to make food? I'm okay on salt piles. I'm not going to buy any right now. Because uh, if I have the mud crab legs, I can't eat them raw, can I? I mean, I shouldn't, probably. Until next. I'll probably be coming back to get a room. But for now, let's just... Uh, oh, what is this? Another cooking spit? Cooking pot. I don't think there's a difference. Vegetable soup. Looks good, actually. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hope you ain't here to cause trouble. I'm not here to cause trouble, but I'd also like to avoid having any attention drawn to me. Right, to the... Oh, right, we're going to sit and eat dinner. Just sit right here. Oh, right across from... Young lady. Lady. Okay, another apple. Nag's getting rather sick of the apples, frankly, but... Uh, and a salmon steak. Right. Okay. Decent meal. We're full. We're warm. Let's go see this. Oh! Nice. wonder who uses the cot. Axe. Some food. Neat. Uh, well, we're going to use this alchemy table really quick. I think we've got some... Restore Magicka potions. We do. Okay. Yeah, not much, but every little bit helps. Right. Probably dark outside now. It's getting there. Yeah. What is with that goat, kid? Why are you... I mean, it's kind of cute, but... I don't understand why it's that way. That's that guy. Uh, I wonder if we should knock. Seems like you don't just barge into, you know, a, a government office, basically. Uh, I'm not gonna take their mead, ale, rather. Uh, excuse me. Looking for Commander Morrow? Ah! Yes, you're just the man I need to speak to. Hello. Mm -hmm. Um, listen, I spoke with the guard, and he suggested I come see you. There is a bandit hideout in Hjalmarch, not far from Solitude, and I think that perhaps uh, you need to send some people over to check it out, maybe dismantle it, or investigate for clues to see if there's anything else that you could maybe pursue. Uh, regarding the Dark Brotherhood. So, right, that's my story. The leader of the Dark Brotherhood? You mean Astrid? Dead? I don't this know who no you're jest. talking about. Ha! Huh. This is a stroke of good fortune. Long have I watched the Dark Brotherhood's movement, waiting for the time to strike. That time is now. Oh, good. My agents have recently acquired the passphrase to their sanctuary. It is 
Silence, my brother. Every assassin in that hole must be put down. Right. You, so, my friend, you're gonna send some guard. Their leader. Whoa. This honor should be yours. Do this, and you will be rewarded most handsomely. What? You are out of your goddamn mind. You're putting me on. You have to be putting me on. You're not putting me on, are you? Oh my god. Hello? Is he... Is he balanced? You must be lost. Like in the Tavern head? Tavern is down the road a piece. I, I, your, your commanding officer, is he... Reliably sane? What the hell? He's gonna give this... He's asking the... Four foot nine... Breton... Woman who... Look at her. Like... You know, she's not exactly... Uh... Doesn't look exactly like a weakling, but she's certainly not intimidating. There's no reason that looking at her you would suspect that she had any kind of skills at dealing with dangerous people. And here he is telling her to take on an entire nunnery of deadly assassins. This man does not... How, how did he get in charge of anything? Right. Well, that's right out. There's no way we're going into the hornet's nest. Um, we don't know what he was talking about with the killing the leader thing. It seems rather strange. Well, yeah. That, so we're not going to the Dark Brother anytime soon. That that's that's just madness. Madness, I say.